Getting through this with stories to help get back on track as we rebound Tampa Bay. Well, part of Tampa Bay's rebound includes all the ways the community is coming together. And it's recommended now we should all wear some sort of face covering when in public. But there's almost nowhere to buy hospital grade masks. So many people are turning to homemade ones. That's right. And when one Largo company got into a bind, an idea was born and it's uniting an entire community. Jamison Euler tonight with the story. Under the familiar hum of a sewing machine, Nancy Gillies, nurse of 52 years, jokes that she was getting good at retirement. I got retirement. into gardening and taking care of my yard. But soon Nancy couldn't get away from that feeling that she was meant to take care of people again when she heard a Largo business was looking for sewers. I have a reason for being here and being able to work. That reason, volunteering four to six hours a day, cutting and sewing COVID-19 protective masks for our veterans and frontline workers at the CW Bill Young VA. Dozens of other women with some advanced skills help out here every day at a makeshift sewing room in the most unlikely of places, at performance air conditioning, electrical and plumbing. And it happened because Brian Hall couldn't find protective masks anywhere for his technicians. We couldn't get them. I, I was trying to procure them and it was months out. If necessity is the mother of invention, sometimes desperation is too. I've never seen Sewing a button on. Like Hall's trip to Walmart and seeing a sewing machine. You see the sewing machine and, you know, maybe we can make a few for the guys. When he says we, he means him. But ask him what he knew about sewing. Zero. <laughs> Absolutely no experience. But even a wild idea with determination and help from lots of YouTube tutorials can change a community in Largo and even bring dozens of people to volunteer their time together. So I didn't know anything about or how to turn it on or plug it in. I, I knew the plug in part. That was about the extent that I knew. But yeah, threading the bobbin, um, threading the needle, um, dealing with quality issues, needle bending. Air filters and thermostats soon took a back seat. And I went to the owner and said, I want to make a thousand of these um, for the VA. And he handed me his credit card and said, go for 25,000 and we bought eight machines. They turned their air conditioning and heating training room into a sewing room for the community. Now 35 volunteers and 6,000 masks later. We have people coming and going all the time depending on their schedules and availability and then we have the, the ones that just come and we make kits for them. So we put 30 in a kit and then they just take it and drop off kind of hands free at the door. But Hall says they are still in need of more volunteers to sew if they are ever going to make their goal, knowing masks are going to still be needed well after we rebound out of this pandemic. I would like to say, make sure that the, that the people that are taking care of other people have got a way to protect themselves. Right now, they really don't. And here is the rebound rundown on this story. There are countless groups here in the Bay Area in need of volunteers to make masks. Tampa General Hospital is one of them accept accepting donations on Wednesdays and Fridays. They are also Facebook sewing groups that are in place, including one here locally called the Mass Project Tampa Bay. And Performance Air Conditioning in Largo, of course, wants more people to help out. You can call them directly to get involved. We've put all the links to the story and other resources that you can use to help donate your time on abcactionnews.com. Just click on the Rebound Tampa Bay.